welcome to this particular session on matrix solve solving matrix on excel mathematics using excel we are learning matrix as of now in previous session we have learned how to add and subtract two matrices using excel now here our focus will be on how to multiply two matrices the matrix multiplication will be discussed in this session so let us have first two matrices let us have two matrices now they are on screen a and b for simplicity purpose i have taken two by two matrices so that we can easily understand now we have learned matrix multiplication manually our job is to learn it on excel how excel can be used to get the answer the rule of matrix multiplication says that when two matrices will be suitable for multiplication when the number of columns of first matrix are equal to number of rows of second matrix then that multiplication is possible now let us go for a into b first your matrix a is 2 by 2 on screen and matrix b is also a 2 by 2 matrix on screen so if this is so how we can go for matrix multiplication let us verify the existence of multiplication whether we can multiply these two matrices order of mat number of columns in matrix a are 2 which is our first matrix for a into b and number of rows in matrix b that is second matrix are 2 so they match that's why we can say that matrix multiplication a into b is possible what about b into a so b becomes the first matrix so number of columns in matrix b are 2 and number of rows in the second matrix a are also 2 they are matching so b into a is also possible we have already learned we already know that a into b is not always equal to b into a it might be it might not it depends upon the matrices that we have so let us move ahead and learn how to multiply two matrices a into b and b into a let us write down matrix a one two three four i repeat i am putting these boxes just for a better representation not mandatory to have these boxes or outline for any matrix on excel just to have a proper representation i am doing it now a and b two matrices are available matrix multiplication is possible we have just discussed it so let us go for actually doing a into b and b into a first let us go for matrix a into matrix b resultant matrix will be two by two so i have selected the area for showing the answer which is required put equal sign while the area is selected now i will show the wrong way that students generally follow as they know how to add and subtract what they do is they select the first matrix first they put the multiplication sign and they select the second matrix and control shift enter you will be getting some answer but not the correct answer why because this operation tells excel that multiply the corresponding elements one with five two with six three with seven and four with eight so this is not the matrix multiplication matrix multiplication rule is different now ele corresponding elements of the first matrix and corresponding elements of the second matrix they will be multiplied and the multiplication will be added but in which sequence elements from first matrix will be considered row wise and elements from second matrix column wise so first row of first matrix into first column of second matrix corresponding elements will be multiplied and their multiplication will be added this rule we are aware right so for this we need to use a function so once we select the range show the answer put equal sign and put the function which is readily available in excel and that is m inverse m i n v e r s e once you start typing it excel will give you suggestion if you see on screen there is one blue 
icon below what I have typed. It is giving us a function M inverse. M starts for matrix inverse is inverse. So matrix inverse is the function. So type in M inverse or select this function, open the bracket. It says array inside the bracket. What does it mean? That means array means the matrix. Okay, let me uh, correct myself. Uh, we are multiplying. By mistake, I went for inverse. So let us go back and learn what is matrix multiplication. So select the range where you would like to show the answer. Put equal sign. Now we are going to multiply two matrices. So function is M M U L T. M mult means what? M first M stands for matrix, M U L T stands for multiplication. It's a short form. So this function is for matrix multiplication. Open the bracket. You will see Excel will suggest you what you're supposed to write. It says array one comma array two. That means the matrices which you would like to multiply, select them in sequence and in between these two matrices put a comma. Why we are not putting multiplication sign? Because we have already defined outside the packet. What is the operation? Our ready-made function for matrix multiplication. So is equal to M M U L T. Open the bracket. Select the first matrix A. Put a comma. Select the second matrix. Close the bracket. Then Control Shift Enter. Gives you the answer. I will show it again. Select the range for answer. Put equal sign, put the same text or function called M M U L T. M M U L T. M mult, that is matrix multiplication. Open the bracket. It says array one, that is matrix one. Select it, put a comma, then array two, that is matrix two. Close the bracket, control shift enter gives us the answer. So A into B. Let us see B into A. Process remains the same, only sequence of these two matrices is reversed. Answer may or may not be equal. So select the range for showing answer. 2 by 2 is equal to M M U L T matrix multiplication. Then select the matrix B first because it is B into A. Put a comma. Select the second matrix A. Close the bracket. Control Shift Enter gives the answer. A into B and B into A. All those who are following me with this video can solve these two A into B and B into A using these two matrices A and B. Instead of only enter, control shift enter is required. And what is the syntax or function in Excel for multiplying two matrices? It is M M U L T. M M U L T. It is not mandatory to put capital letters or small letters. Whichever way you go, you will be getting the same function. M M U L T is equal to M M U L T. Open the bracket. Select the first matrix, put a comma, select the second matrix, close the bracket, hit control shift enter to get the answer. Now we have got matrix multiplication. One sum is over. Let us try to get one more sum so that if there is any doubt, it will be clear. Clarity is required what we are doing. So let us move ahead with next sum. Second question. Now let us have a three by three matrix, a bigger matrix. Matrix C and matrix D. We are supposed to multiply both matrices in both the sequences C into D, D into C. Result will be a three by three matrix. So let me 
select the matrix range for answer. Wherever I would like to show the answer, that much area, selecting that much area is required. Just to highlight, I am putting the color so that visibility will be better. So let us go for matrix C into D. As both are three by three, matrix multiplication is possible because of the rule. I have selected three by three area because result will be a three by three area matrix is equal to our job is to first put the function which is available in Excel. That is MMULT for matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication function is MMULT open the bracket, select the first matrix first, that is matrix C, put a comma, not multiplication sign, select the second matrix, close the bracket, click on control shift enter to get the answer. Let us see D into C, select the range of cells where answer is required, put equal sign, Put the function MMULT, open the bracket. Now our function is, our operation is D into C. So D matrix becomes first, select the D matrix first, put a comma, then select the second matrix C, close the bracket, control shift, enter. Now we are using basic functions of Excel. For advanced features, functions like uh, to solve LPP and transportation and other concepts, we need few advanced tools which are available in Excel, but we have to make them ready to use. How I will be guiding in that session when we'll be learning how to solve transportation or some like LPP using Excel. So as of now, for matrices and determinants, basic functions are enough. So this way we can go for matrix multiplication. Multiplying two matrices using Excel. Even if the order increases, it does not matter because Excel has a higher range to display the answers. All the calculations are done at the back end and only the answer is shown on the screen with the help of the function or the formula that we enter. So let us move ahead with practice sum. We have got matrix P and matrix Q. And we are supposed to find P into Q and Q into P. Matrix P into matrix Q. Those who are attending this session can practice it. P into Q and Q into P. Couple of minutes for solving simultaneously. Matrix multiplication function is M M U and T. Select the matrix P first, put a comma, select the matrix Q, then close the bracket, control shift enter, P 
gives us the answer. I'm just solving it so that reference answers will be available for all of those who are attending this session. Putting the bracket or color coding is optional because it is just for better representation. Matrix Q into matrix P. As we are putting the function in Excel for matrix multiplication, no need to put multiplication sign in between two matrices. So this way we can go for P into Q and Q into P. I hope all of those who are watching me with this, those who are following me with this, are able to understand how to multiply two matrices. Just a repetition to sum up matrix multiplication. We have to select the area to represent the answer, number of cells, keep it, keep it selected, put equal to sign, put the function that is MMULT for matrix multiplication, open the bracket, Select the first matrix first, that is here in this case, matrix P, put a comma to separate out the second matrix, then select the second matrix, close the bracket, then control shift enter gives us the answer. If the cell width is small or less, then the answer will get rounded up. So always increase the cell width so that actual answer will be reflected. So if I reduce the size of this column S, then it will, it is not showing me the answer, right? Or sometimes the rounded up answer gets visible. So always increase the size of that width of that column or particular cell to reflect the entire answer properly. So this was matrix multiplication.